The single market is now more than 20 years old. But since 1992, our economy and society have changed dramatically thanks to the development of the Internet. The Internet has brought about a digital revolution in our lives, in how we interact with each other and how we trade and transact, including between countries. The single market exists in the physical world, but not yet in the digital world. There is a lot left to do. Right now, the EU effectively consists of 28 separate digital markets. This fragmentation stops us from growing or taking a global lead. Consumers still face numerous problems online. If European consumers had the full choice of online products from different countries, they could save 11.7 billion euro. Often it's about cost and confidence. While one in two consumers buy online, fewer than one in seven do it across borders. And less than 7% of small and medium-sized businesses sell across borders. For consumers, cross-border purchases are often limited by high delivery costs, two to five times higher than domestic purchases. Fragmented contract laws and consumer protections also stand in the way. We will tackle these issues and build confidence by increasing the transparency of delivery prices with clearer rules about what laws to apply. Sometimes it's about deliberate unjustified geo-blocking. When sellers provide different deals depending on your location for example, we will tackle this issue too. Copyright protection needs to adapt to ensure you can access this wide range of choice with creators getting their fair reward. So far, only 4% of the on-demand digital content available online is accessible cross-border and many buy digital content only to find they can't take it with them when they travel. We think this needs to change. Startups which want to expand and sell goods in different countries also must deal with different systems for VAT. They represent the innovative companies of the 21st century and we want them to be able to flourish in a Europe-wide market, for example, with a single VAT threshold throughout Europe. As Andres Ansip, European Commission Vice President for the Digital Single Market said, what is possible to do offline needs to be possible to do online. The European Commission is ready to pave the way.